All right, we have sent off our render, and now I want to go and check up on it. Uh, we've, we've batched, we've gone rendering, batch render, we've sent it off, we've watched it go, and now I'm going to go to my files, uh, into my projects folder, into my online modeling class, and go to my image folder, and now I see my image sequence, snow globe, and nothing's really showing here and it should go to about 140 or 120 I think mine went to uh, and there you go alright so now what uh, you click on them you can't open the, these uh, IFFs will open in Photoshop uh, I can take this over to Photoshop and you see that uh, even though they're not visible on screen uh, immediately that uh, Photoshop will open an IFF I think after CS3 they begin to handle IFFs but uh, and it did render out an uh, what do you call that uh, an alpha channel you see where it's transparent in the background so uh, if I were to add a layer and uh, so it didn't render out even though I had it pink before it didn't so so that's uh, that's where we're at there so I don't know what's gonna happen I thought my pink would render out um, but it didn't but that's okay uh, so I'm jumping out of Photoshop. What, the way we want to combine these frames, these 120 frames, is in a an application, a utility that comes with Maya called FCheck. And in your Applications folder, and if you're on a PC, it's going to be a little bit different. But you want to go to your Autodesk folder, wherever that is. And uh, I'm still working out of Maya 2011. I could never get my newer version to work right. So uh, anyway, there's a you should have an application called FCheck. I'm going to double click that and all FCheck does is uh, it's to help you preview your image sequences but you can output it your files as uh, different types of movie format so we're going to open an image sequence and I'm going to uh, go and I just select the very first image of my image sequence and it'll as long as I open as sequence it'll automatically pull in the rest and even though I set my back oh this one did input the background as pink alright now had I to do this over again I think I would uh, make my snow a little less transparent but it's it's very subtle but I like it. We get some nice reflections from the ray tracing. Uh, you see the reflection here. And uh, my camera moves kind of subtle. Now what we're watching here, this is not real time. This is not real time. It's, it's playing the frames back as fast as it can. But uh, I only have 120 frames, which is about 4 seconds. And this is taking longer than 4 seconds. Um, so what we need to do here is we need to export this. So I'm going to stop. How do I stop this? Um, wow, there's there's no stop button. Let's try that. Reset all. Okay, that. <laughs> I'm not sure how to stop this. I I see how to make it go forward and backwards. That's that shouldn't be an issue. It just gets annoying. <laughs> All right, maybe you see something I don't. Um, you can make some subtle tweaks here uh, with saturation or luminance or gamma but I'm just going to accept what I have here if there are one for contrast I might heighten the contrast some uh, but other than that I'm just going to leave it as it is and go to uh, save as movie and I'm going to 
give it a name snow globe Emma uh, I'll put my last name Arnold and I'm just gonna save this to my desktop and uh, go ahead and save it would you like to use would you like the movie to use the current color size and transformations uh, I'm gonna say no transformations uh, but I, I can I can take this bottom corner and size it up or down I want it at the 640 by 480 and it looks like I haven't changed it anyway but if you had changed it you could render out something larger or smaller so I'm gonna say no transformations and it put this on my desktop now I'm assuming that if you are on a Windows machine it would say the F check will not save it out as a .mov but it's something different uh, probably a web uh, something that's supported alright so that was our image sequence and now we have our movie okay and let's see it's gonna be a lot faster I'm thinking than what was shown in the F check the F check was frame by frame so let's see one two there you go so this is what I would like you guys to submit create a movie and uh, and I think I said what five to ten seconds anyway any anywhere between 150 200 frames mine's a little on the short side I probably could have added another uh, second to it but uh, and there you go.